All right, so I want to thank everybody for joining me today on June 1 Billion. So today we're going to be talking about something very, very important in my eyes, right? So it's uh, should you buy jewelry or should you invest in property or, you know, house or something like that, right? So before we get into this topic, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button um, because that will help my channel out a whole lot, right? So back to the question, should you buy jewelry or should you buy property, right? So to each his own, but in my opinion, I would buy property. Why? The reason why is because when you buy jewelry and stuff like that, jewelry is like a liability. So, you know, the jewelry depreciates in value. You can't really do anything with jewelry. Uh, you can get robbed for the jewelry, you get killed for the jewelry. So the risk, you know, versus the reward on jewelry, in my eyes, is not technically not worth it. Maybe if I was younger and stuff like that, and you want to floss and stuff like that, then yeah, you live with your parents and stuff, and possibly, right? But just say, um, if you buy a house and stuff like that, you can, uh, you know, you're gonna need credit. Uh, you, you know, the house has a lot, even not even a house, but a, a business. Like say, if you got millions of dollars and, it's, and instead of buying a chain or a ring or a watch or a bracelet, you can go invest in like a McDonald's or something. You gotta have like a $100,000 down payment and then you can actually make money and uh, hire people in the community and give back and stuff like that, right? So, or you can uh, buy an apartment building. They got apartment buildings, uh, houses that go for a little bit of nothing, like less than a chain. And you can um, rent them out and, you know, not necessarily become a landlord, but rent them out, you know, and make some money. And then if things go bad, you'll have something to fall back on, right? So, and if you look at it, if you look at most rich people, uh, they don't wear a lot of fancy jewelry. They have like a nice little piece or something like that, but they don't really be all flamboyant because, uh, you know, if something happens to that jewelry, and then at the same time, especially if you get custom jewelry, uh, custom jewelry is the worst because it depreciates in value. So if you ever want to sell that jewelry or get something back for it, you can't really get anything back for it because you have to have a person that wants that particular item, right? And it's kind of hard to find that particular item, right? So uh, a lot of these people, they get a lot of money and then they don't establish their credit. So that's why they go buy a jury. They go buy a jury cash. And then, like I say, when it's time, you know, things go hard, you can't get anything back from that, that chain or that, that jury because it really loses its value. But like I said, if you buy a house or that real estate or that, that business, you always have something to fall back on. You always have something to get some money back from. Um, you know, I understand people say they have, you know, they own houses, they have enough houses and stuff like that. But like I say, you can never have too much property. And then like I say, you can, you know, rent it out or, you know, give somebody else a chance to at, at, at surviving and living and stuff like that, right? So if you want my advice on uh, do I recommend buying jewelry? Like I say, teach his own. You can, but would I? No, I think I would invest my money into something totally different. So uh, with that being said, uh, <clears throat> uh, hit that like and subscribe button. If you uh, 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 agree with what I said, if you don't agree, leave it in the comments at the bottom. And before we know it, we'll get into the next video. Peace.